No end in sight as the actor strike in Hollywood nears a week. This is the strike that some estimate could cost $4 billion or more. One of the biggest fears for striking actors is the potential for studios to basically wipe out their jobs with AI. Is that fear reality or not? Donny O'Sullivan is out front. This is where we started. It's an automated solution for cosmetic and de-aging work. Dr. Jones. Through some technological wizardry, 80-year-old Harrison Ford looks exactly like 40-year-old Harrison Ford. Do you understand how they did that? Not completely. <laughs> In the latest Indiana Jones movie, Harrison Ford is de-aged for a flashback where he fights the Nazis. It's not photoshopped or anything. It doesn't look that way. Hollywood studios are moving beyond traditional visual effect technology and embracing artificial intelligence, turning to companies like Mars. What does Mars stand for? Monsters, aliens, robots, and zombies. I think that's the best name I've heard for a company. Thank you. The latest Spider-Man movie released in 2021 features villains like the Green Goblin and Dr. Otto Octavius, characters who haven't been seen in years. Uh, so they took the villains from previous uh, versions of Spider-Man movies and they wanted to bring them back in that moment than when they originally performed that character. So without naming names, we helped Marvel do that on a certain character. Mars says its de-aging AI technology knocks thousands of man-hours off the visual effects process, but they say they aren't killing jobs. The demand for visual effects way outstrips the supplies, but there are a finite number of artists in the world that are able to execute on that demand. Mars has also built an AI dubbing tool aiming to make awkward, out-of-sync voiceovers like these a thing of the past. Mars uses defect technology to reconstruct an actor's lips to match the dubbed audio. They tried it out on me. My name First, is we Johnny sent them this I'm short clip I shot in a CNN now, studio. That I've always been terrible at speaking any language other than English. In fact, I struggle with English sometimes. With that, they were able to do this. Je m'appelle Donny O'Sullivan. Je suis un correspondant de CNN et j'avoue que j'ai toujours été nul pour parler une langue autre que l'anglais. That is very impressive. Je ne parle ni l'arabe, ni l'allemand, ni le japonais. Mais peut-être que toute cette nouvelle technologie... My lips look French. I don't know who you are. This technology can even put other people's words in your mouth. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. <laughs> I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. My fellow Irishman as well. LipDub was built for the purpose of allowing studios to take content in their native tongue and put that content across the globe in a way where it looks native to the viewer. For its part, Mars says it is not in the business of replacing actors. Its technology is meant to enhance performances, not create them. I think it's not a question of the technology, it's how you use it. Look, you know, I could be hit by a bus tomorrow, and that's it, but my performances can go on and on and on and on and on, and outside of the understanding that it's been done with AI or deep fake, there'll be nothing to tell you that it's not me and, uh, and me alone. Fears of how AI will be used is party wise sag after the actors' union is on strike, saying the studios want to replace them with artificial performances. The movie studios are pushing back on that claim. Technology cannot replace an actor full on. So you cannot go head to toe and redo the entire face and expect that to be photo real. The technology just isn't there right now. Now, as it relates to writers, I think they can more easily be replaced by artificial intelligence. All right, um, you ended on writers there. Although, by the way, you and the French, I mean, then I, I did I hear you mention Japanese. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> uh, all right, you heard, you ended there with a potential threat to writers. This is serious. I mean, chat GPT, and they're worried about it writing scripts. I gave a prompt to chat GPT with a picture on the wall the other day, unnamed picture, and said, write me a backstory, be creative. Yeah. Four seconds later, it was damn good, Donia. I couldn't believe it. Uh, so, uh, you know, script writer is obviously a serious risk. 
Um, is it there for actors, though? As, as you heard, look, I think everybody should be worried about how this could transform uh, all of our jobs. Uh, as you heard there, actors um, are, are at less risk right now than writers, but there is a fear, and you kind of heard Tom Hanks mention it, um, it can also be used in, in good creative ways, that essentially actors could be replaced by these avatars, that you scan a person uh, and that they are then placed into movies. But what we've, you know, what we've heard from the experts is that is some time away, but this technology is advancing so, so quickly. We could be having a very different conversation in six months. Absolutely. All right, Tony, thank you very much. A fascinating piece.